Hello everyone, and today we're going to be changing out the spark plugs on this 2015 EcoBoost. So, let's get started. And the first thing we do is identify where our nuts and bolts are. So there's one bolt there. There's one nut. And moving away to the right side. Get my flashlight in there. So there's another bolt. And then working my way back down. And there's the last nut. So that's what we need to remove our engine cover. So we're going to start with this 10 millimeter socket. And we're going to start with the rear nut. So we'll go ahead and loosen that up. And almost there. All right, so there's one, and I'll go ahead and go to the front since it's going to be the same socket and get that one out. All right, there's the two nuts. Now we need to work on the two bolts, which are eight millimeter sockets. And see if we can loosen that one up. And unfortunately, I couldn't get my fingers in there, so I just took a magnet and got that one out. And then we'll do the last one in the front. And come on, there we go. And now we should be able to lift up the engine cover. There we go, and we'll go ahead and set that aside. And taking a look at our ignition coils, we have right here, we have a cable retainer. And in the rear right here, we also have another one. So all you have to do is take your trim removal tool, and we'll get right under it, and this pops right up. All right, so there's the front one. And then let's go to the rear, and we'll, that one should pop up just as easy. Come on. Beautiful. And then we'll just set that aside. You don't have to do anything with it. Now we should be able to go ahead and disconnect the connector right here for the first ignition coil. So all you have to do is unlock it by pushing that red tab back. And then, see if I can get my hands in there, and then pull the connector outward. There we go. So now we can go back to our 8 millimeter socket. Let's go ahead and remove this ignition coil. Now these are not on there tight at all. They don't have a lot of torque. They just have quite a few threads, so it just may take a minute. And there's the first one right there. And then all you have to do is grip the ignition coil, give it a slight little twist, pull upward, and it pops right out. And let's take a look at it. It actually doesn't look like it's in bad shape at all, so this ignition coil looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and reuse this one. And now let's go ahead and bring our camera in. Now it does look like we have a little bit of dust and debris around the well, but it doesn't look like we have any in there. But we're still going to clean around this area, so go ahead and grab some compressed air and go ahead and blow out the spark plug well. And for those of you at home who have an air compressor, that would probably be more ideal. So now that the spark plug well is clean, let's go ahead and remove the spark plug. All you need is your 5 8 spark plug socket and a 150 millimeter extension. And then just go ahead and start loosening it up and then bringing it out. And after 20,000 threads later, we'll lift right up. And very nice. That came out very easy. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the old spark plug and new one. Let me focus the camera a little bit. And it doesn't look like it's in bad shape at all. The old one doesn't look too shabby. Not bad for 90,000 miles, but we're going to change them anyway. And just an FYI, we did order these new spark plugs pre-gapped, but we did verify that they do match the owner's manual. So now that we've verified the gap and the spark plug looks like it's good to go, let's go and install it. So all you need is your 5 8 spark plug socket and your 150 millimeter extension. And we're going to very gently insert it. And we're going to start threading this by hand just to make sure it feels like it threads correctly. And it feels like it is. So now that's nice and snug, let's go ahead and torque it down to 128 inch pounds or close to 11 foot pounds. And we'll go ahead and keep turn to your click. And there we go. Beautiful. And after applying a little dielectric grease to ignition coil, we can go ahead and reinstall it. And again, all you have to do is push down and give it a little swipe twist. And there we go. And now we'll grab our same bolt as we used earlier. Tighten it down. And we'll do it by hand. And then of course, we'll take our torque wrench and torque it down to 62 inch pounds. There we go. And then all you have to do is take your connector and plug it back in. Yeah, see if I can get it in there. There it goes. And then lock it in with that red tab. And now it's not going anywhere. And we'll go ahead and reattach that cable retainer. And then repeat the same steps on the remaining three spark plugs. And as a little extra added bonus, in between the spark plug changes, we did scope the cylinders. Now looking at this, this doesn't actually look really bad at all. This car only has about 90,000 miles on it. And these actually look pretty good for having that much mileage. These are actually pretty clean. So I just wanted to show you these to you. So now that we got all the hard work out of the way, let's go ahead and install our engine cover. So just line it up with the studs. At least try to. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and install our nuts and our bolts. And we're going to be using that same 8mm and 10mm socket. So there's one, there's two, three, 
and four. And then, of course, we'll take our torque wrench and torque it down to 35 inch-pounds. So there's one, two, three, and four. So now let's go ahead and start our engine. Well, it's going to verify that it runs correctly and idles smoothly. And looking at it and listening to it, so far so good. Sounds pretty good. I don't hear any vibrations. And it doesn't sound like it's idling bad at all, so this is a good sign. Yep, it looks pretty good. I think we're just about ready for a test drive. Well, seems like this car is running pretty good. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.